Hi guys, welcome to Empower and thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas and this is Motivation Monday. Some motivational tips to help you start your week off on the right note. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to focus. Now I read a study somewhere that said that the average med search nurse can have up to 17 things to do on their mind at the same time. Now we're one person, we can really only do one thing at a time, usually. And we can definitely usually only do one thing at a time well. So there's a few tools that I do that help me manage all of the responsibilities and also stay very focused. The first thing that I do is I use sticky notes for almost everything, even like the stupid simple things like is this assessment done? Is this done? Is that done? I put check marks like as I go. I'll make these sticky notes in the morning and then I will update them as I go about throughout my day. And then as soon as something's completed, I tear up the sticky note and it's like it is like a lovely feeling when I do that. I like absolutely love it. The other thing that I I do is I try to focus on doing things very quickly, trying to get things done very quickly out of the way. Um, I try to get things done very quickly, get things out of the way as soon as possible to make sure I can stay up to speed with everything. So that's the second tip. So first we have sticky notes, then we have try to do things fast. Um, doing things fast sometimes means walking fast, um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that, you know? Like sometimes I like visualize myself as like a, an Olympic speed walker like down the hallway. Like it's just fun for me. I don't know, maybe that's weird. <laughs> The other thing is I try to avoid people that like suck the life out of me. <laughs> I know it like sounds bad, but there's some people that, oh my gosh, like you start talking to them and there's like, there's no getting away. They're like sucking you in and it's like impossible. They have like tentacles and they're just like, la la la. And like one conversation leads to the other and it's like, and they can like really like distract you. I'm the type of person that I really need some quiet time. I wish it wasn't that way, but like my parents raised me without the television. And so a lot of extra sound like makes it hard for me to focus. So I just do the best that I can, but I try to uh, decrease the contact with people that do suck the energy out of me like as much as possible, especially if they're coworkers and it's optional whether I want to spend time with them or not. The last thing that I do to stay focused, and this is mainly pertaining to if you're a nursing student, it's to make sure you have like a really big why, you know, like why are you trying to focus? Why are you trying to work so hard? Why are you trying to accomplish the task that you're trying to accomplish? If you have a huge, huge reason, like you're so happy because once you're a nurse, you'll be able to provide for your children, you'll be able to have a career that's really like meaningful to you. If you envision why you want to do something, the what to do gets so much easier because your energy from this like vision that just like imparts energy into you. There's a famous saying, you can get over any how as long as the why is big enough. And that really is the truth. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for joining me for Motivation Monday and I can't wait to see you next week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Let's stay connected guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.